Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to look at ENI versus ENA versus EFA. And you're going to get a whole bunch of different scenario questions in your exam and you'll be expected to know the difference between the three and where you would use each one. So let's start with what these actually mean and we'll start with ENI. And this is Elastic Network Interface and essentially it's just a virtual network card. That's all it is. It's one of these bad boys in your EC2 instance. We then have enhanced networking. Enhanced networking uses what's called single root IO virtualization or SR IOV to provide high performance networking capabilities to unsupported instance types. And we'll look at that in a little bit more detail. Now, don't worry that that slide says EN and at the top it says ENA. Um, ENA is a subset of enhanced networking and we'll have a look at that when we get to enhanced networking in a couple of slides from now. And then number three, we also have Elastic Fabric Adapter. And this is a network device that you attach to your EC2 instance to accelerate high performance compute, so HPC and machine learning applications. So start with an ENI. Um, like I said, it's just basically a virtual network card on your EC2 instance. When you provision an EC2 instance, it's gonna have an ENI attached to it automatically, and then you can add additional ones. It basically allows a primary private IPv4 address from the IPv4 address range of your VPC, and it also allows one or more secondary private IPv4 addresses from the IPv4 address range of your VPC. With an ENI, you get one elastic IP address um, per uh, private IPv4 address. You get one public IPv4 address, and you get one or more IPv6 addresses. Uh, and your ENI, you'll have one or more security groups. You'll get a MAC address, a source uh, and destination check flag as well as a description of what the ENI is. So where would you use ENI? What different kind of scenarios? Well, you might have multiple ENIs if you want to create a management network and you want it to have um, that separate to your production network. Um, you can also uh, have an additional ENI if you're using network and security appliances in your VPC. It also allows you, by having multiple ENIs, you can create dual homed instances with workloads or roles on distinct subnets. You might have your production uh, subnet, and then you might have your database subnet, and you might want to segregate that by using um, uh, multiple ENIs. And it allows you to create low budget, high availability solutions. So that's where you're going to use an ENI. Moving on to enhanced networking, sometimes ENIs are just not capable of uh, you know, the network throughput that you need to do um, more intense workloads. And that's where you can start using enhanced networking. This uses single root IO virtualization or SR IOV to provide high performance networking capabilities on supported instance types. And SR IOV is a method of device virtual virtualization that provides higher IO performance and lower CPU utilization when compared to, to traditional network interfaces. So it's just a way of speeding up your network, essentially. Enhanced networking provides higher bandwidth, higher packets per second performance, consistently lower inter-instance latencies, and there's no additional charge for using enhanced networking, but your EC2 instance does have to support it. And you're going to use enhanced networking where you want good network performance. So depending on your instance type, enhanced networking can be enabled using two methodologies, the Elastic Network Adapter, or ENA, uh, which is where we get the word ENA from in this, uh, in this topic, and that supports network speeds of up to 100 gigabits per second for supported instance types. Or you can use the Intel 82599 Virtual Function, or VF interface, which supports network speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second for supported instance types. And this is typically used on older instances. Um, so in any scenario uh, question that you get in your exam, you probably want to choose ENA over um, VF if you're given the option. Um, I'm not sure if you will get VF as an option. Most of the time they just talk about, hey, you've got a, a EC2 instance that's doing really in, you know, extreme network um, workloads and you need like 50 gigabits per second um, up and down. Um, should you use an ENI or multiple ENIs or should you use an elastic network adapter? You want to use an elastic network adapter because it's built for those speeds. Adding more and more ENIs won't necessarily uh, speed up your network throughput. 
Uh, and then we've got our elastic fabric adapter, EFA. An elastic fabric adapter is a network device that you can attach to your EC2 instance to accelerate high performance computing or HPC and machine learning applications. So really important, if you get a scenario question and they're talking about ENI versus EFA versus EFA, and they're talking about HPC and machine learning, then you want to choose an elastic fabric adapter. Um, elastic fabric adapters provide lower and more consistent latency and higher throughputs than TCP um, transport, traditionally used in cloud-based HPC, uh, HPC systems. And EFA can use OS bypass. And OS bypass enables high performance compute and machine learning applications to bypass the operating system kernel and to communicate directly with the EFA device. It makes it a lot faster with a lot lower latency. However, it's not supported on Windows currently. It's only supported with Linux. So on to my exam tips. You're going to be given different scenario questions and you'll be asked to choose whether you should be using an ENI, enhanced networking, or an elastic fabric adapter. ENI, just use this for basic networking. Perhaps you need a separate management workload to your production network or a separate logging network and you need to do this at a low cost. In this scenario, just use multiple ENIs for each network. Enhanced networking is for when you need speeds between 10 gigabits per second and 100 gigabits per second, anywhere where you need reliable high throughput. And then elastic fabric adapter, um, this is where you need to accelerate high performance computing, HPC or, and machine learning applications, or if you need to do an OS bypass. If you see a scenario questioning, uh, if you see a scenario question mentioning HPC or machine learning or uh, asking about OS bypass, then you want to choose an elastic fabric adapter. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.